What's up? It's Carcino here, and I want to say thank you guys, man. You guys have been crushing it. Uh, donating for the uh, cash app, dollar sign, Carcino. I'm like, man, you guys know how to find people quick on there. Some people, I ain't even tell about it. And they was like, I found you. Like, all right, man, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> or you can click the link in the description box um, and leave a donation there, and that way you can leave a message. I can call you. So it's quite interesting, man. I'm going to try to call you today, Harry. You might can get on the video with me. You know, you guys leave a number and stuff. So there's a lot of fun things you can do where we connect out with the people. Uh, now, <clears throat> as the NBA trade, like, so trade deadline approached, You've been having a lot of different activity take place. <clears throat> Mostly in the middle of the Lakers. Now, the Lakers offered the Pelicans. Everybody thinks the Pelicans are being the bad guys here. You know, we've seen a lot of different scenarios and people writing and talking about what the Pelicans then did. They don't want to do this and what they don't want to do. What they don't want to do is get screwed over. They want to get rid of AD, but they don't want to get rid of him and get screwed in the process. Meaning that if they get rid of Andrew, you know, AD, they're going to be looking at salary cap relief. They're not keeping him just to be bitter. I would keep him to be bitter, but that's just me. They're looking at it from a business perspective. And from a business perspective, they want to have salary cap relief. So they want draft picks. That help keep, creates salary cap relief. You know, the Lakers offered them Lonzo and Rondo and Kyle Kuzma, you know, and uh, Michael Beasley, you know. Uh, people whose contracts would just be for, you know, the end of the year. You know, Beasley contract expired. Lonzo Ball's contract um, is very small. And, you know, Rondo's only a one-year player. And they could have took Kyle Kuzma, you know, and and they wanted a first-round, one first-round draft pick. The Lakers offered them. That was their first offer. But what the Pelicans are looking for is multiple draft picks. You're not going to just get over and get what you want offering this soft deal. But what you've done now is offend people like Lonzo Ball and everybody else who had all their information, you know, exposed that this was the offer that was on the table. So now you got, you know, the the reps for the team who got to groom the players who got to hear that their names were mentioned in trade rumors. And a lot of people were shocked not to see Brandon Ingram. Like, how is Brandon Ingram still going to be on the team? Well, Brandon Ingram has a larger contract, and he's very hard to move in a trade for another player because now the other team has got to eat Brandon Ingram's contract. You know, he's guaranteed $7 million, then another five next year. So that doesn't give the team a lot of, you know, movement about picking up Brandon Ingram. Now, Kyle Kuzma, he's an easier piece to move and to deal with. That's what people got to realize. So the business of the basketball comes into play here. So they figured, you know, not enough. They didn't offer enough that was serious for the Pelicans to even say, okay, well, we need a counter offer. But obviously, they know this is not enough. The Lakers know this isn't enough for, for AD. So they're basically putting their chips, and it looks like they're putting their chips into waiting to the end of the year to try to get him instead of getting him right now. With that being said, um, if they did pull that trade, let's say they did pull the trigger, um, who's going to run the point? 
LeBron's going to play the point with no backup point guard. You have no Lonzo. You have no Ronzo. You have no Cal Kuzma to bail you out. Who are you going to have? <laughs> You're going to pick up Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, we know that. He just got waived. So now he could actually be picked up. But what, what was that going to do for your team? You know, this is a mess, a complete mess that they're going to have to sort out. Because if they go at it with what they have, they're a lot better off if they make that trade and lose all those pieces. Because you have no leadership on the floor. Without Rondo, you have no leadership on that floor. So to be able to move Rondo would be very dumb. So... They could at least say we tried, but I really doubt the Lakers wanted to pull the trigger on that one. Because they, I think they know what it would take, and they don't want to give away no draft picks. Uh, not like that. When they're going to get AD anyway. So, Anyhow, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks again. Peace.